Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to build this to do app. So let's set a date, okay? And now let's add a task, for example, buy milk and coffee and press add. Okay, let's add another, another one. Buy sugar, potato and tomato. Press add. Okay, let's say we bought the first one, the milk and coffee, we can remove it. And also when we buy the second one, we will remove it. And that's it. Let's get started. Okay, this is a basic template that we always start with. Here, this is the layout, which is empty, uh, creating a window, the well pro progressive window, reading the window, and we checked if we clicked on the exit button and if we clicked on the X in the window to close it and break. And here we print event and value for debugging purposes and see what's going on. Let's get started creating the calendar button. So sg.calendar button and let's call it set date and then let's change the size to 10. And now let's create that label sg.t and then the label do this string and then add the key which is date and then we're going to create the label write task and then input here sg.i let's add the key let's call it task let's change the font first we don't need to change the font type so let's set it to none and then I want the font to be 15 I can also specify here bold but I don't need it and then specify the size let's set it to 32 and then one here okay let's try and run and see how it looks okay we have a syntax here position argument follows keyword argument oh yeah we forgot to close here Uh, there's an extra here. Let's run it again. Okay. I want to add the size of the text. Let's set it to 10, 1. Let's run the code. Okay, much better. Okay, now let's add our table. SG.table. So first parameter is the values. Are going to set it as an empty string and then the headings which is the header headings inside the list are going to specify index the second column is the date and the third column is the task task we're gonna add a key which is table okay the size also 500 over 10 height Okay, the, another parameter which is auto size columns, it's by default true, we're going to do false. And then we're going to specify column width, column width inside the list. The first column is index, I want to specify only 5. And then for the date, I want to specify 9. And for the task, I want to specify 30. Okay, now let's add another parameter which is scroll, scroll vertical only, which is true, we're going to say it to false. To see the horizontal scroll bar and then justification justification it's right by default i want to set it to l you can write left but l is enough the last parameter is the font i want to make it a little bit bigger so first is none which is the font name i don't care about the font name so i want the size i want it to be 15. now let's run our code and see how it looks okay that's good. And then we're going to add the three buttons. SG.B for button, right add, and then SG.B and add the key, delete, and the third button which is exit. So okay, let's run our code. I need to close this one. Okay. Now we're going to increase the size of the add here. So size is equal to B, 10 and 1. I'm going also to change the bottom color. So button button 
color uh, let's set it to green and here I want to set the button color button color to red let's run our code okay much better let's select the date here okay now the date is inside this label let's say milk the task is milk the table is empty the date is inside the, this label we need to access this label so here else f event is equal to add we can create a key but using the button string is enough so we're gonna start the day the date is equal to window window and use the the key which is date date okay now to get the date we need to do dot get okay now I'm getting all the date but I don't which means I'm getting the date and the hours that's the result but what we want is we want to exclude the hours we want to get only the date here so to do that we're going to split by space as you can see here there is a space here so and we're going to take the first index so dot split and by default it splits by space then take the first index now we got the date now in order to add values inside this table we need to add them inside the list and it should be a list of list so let's do task is equal to a list and inside it another list and here we're going to specify the index so for index we're going to create a variable here called counter is equal to one okay so here the first index is counter the second index is the date so i'm going to write the date and the last one is value the value that we will get from this task values and access the key task and then we're going to create a list an empty list call it tasks okay an empty list we're going to add tasks dot task and now we're going to update so window we're going to update the table so let's access it using the key which is table and then dot update and we're going to add the list which is task tasks tasks are going to increment the counter plus equal to one okay let's write and see if it works counter plus equal to one let's see before writing everything okay let's say buy milk let's add okay it's working what we want to do now is when we press on add we want to clear the text inside the input and to do that let's copy this one i'm going to say task access the input that and by task and also write an empty string here this will clear that input let's try it again let's try straight away milk okay leave it at the same uh, same date coffee okay as you can see it's working now we, we need to, to program the delete as you can see we get the delete event here so we need to do if the event is equal to delete so delete the selected row else if event is equal to delete now first before deleting anything we want to make sure that a task is selected from the table and to do that we're going to do if values okay for for deleting we need to specify a value so let's do pass here let's run our code let's write milk let's do add if i press on a value okay it's not working here when i press on this value maybe i forgot the enable event okay this one instead of naming it date they named it data okay i'm adding enable event is equal to true parameter i 
as you can see when we enable the event you can see that when I press the first one I, I get in the table 0 and when I want to select the second one I get table is equal to 1 so what we're going to do is access the table this value table is making sure that we selected an item you know because you, you saw it's, it was written 1 0 if I select something then I will get the index so to get the index is easy so let's just write index is equal to values and access it by the table okay now we go, we got the index and to remove it you just need to do delete delete tasks and the index and after that we need to update the table so window table dot update by tasks because we removed an item from the task we need to update the table let's try it now and see if it works let's select a random date and then let's write buy milk okay buy okay I, I bought milk so let's delete it okay it's not working yet list indices must be integers or slices what did I forgot? Yeah, when we access it, we need to take the index zero because it was inside the list. Okay, let's remove this one. Okay, it's working. Yeah, it's working. Okay, hopefully we finished this to do app. It's simple as you saw. Thank you so much.